And the two managers hug again, so he fancy seeing you here. Well, you've got El Yanushi on the left, yeah, and so at the moment you've got Diallo on your right. Which is a surprise, isn't it, ahead of Walcott? Now, Walker Peters again decides to tuck in and go ahead of Rashika. Then Romeo tried to play inside, it comes out for Armstrong, 25 yards out, Adams is on, uh, Shea Adams is on side, tries to get the shot away, and he does! And Shea Adams is in blistering goal-scoring form! He scores past Krull, right-footed in off the post, <laughs> low shot from Shea Adams, Two for Scotland, one for Saints, five in six goals for club and country. Norwich nil, Southampton one. Well, three minutes into it and Adams has picked it up. He's cut across the face of the 18-yard box, bends it round the keeper's left, hits the post and goes in, one up. Three minutes against Villa, Dave, three minutes against Norwich. Still talk about history repeating itself. Unbelievable, isn't it? I'm quite pleased in a way, Dave, that he hasn't broken up the Ward Prowse Romeo partnership, but he must have thought about playing Ward Prowse off the right as he started so much of his career down there. As Walker Peters thought he was fouled, and the referee again says no, says Rashika got the ball, so Norwich trying to break. Aaron, still only 21 years old, out to Rashika. The Kosterman has Aaron's back on the overlap, pokes it out to him, pulls it back into the six yard area, and they scored a near post header from Timu Puki has crept inside McCarthy's post. He couldn't stop it going in. Low ball in, and Pookie stooped to head it. He was the wrong side of the post, but he got the angle right, and McCarthy will be disappointed to be beaten at that post. But it's Well, we've lost the ball down the right-hand side. Norwich uh, get the ball. There's an overlap round the wide man, and it's whipped into the near post, and he gets across the Lusu and heads it in, Pookie. Took Norwich only four minutes to recover from that it's, goal. It's a little run from the full-back. Yeah, good pass from Ward, Ward Prowse. Saints transitioning quickly, back to front. Armstrong gets a return ball from Walker-Peters from the left. Pulls it back into the box. Lovely pullback, and a nuisance shot blocked. Ward Prowse wants to have a go. Low shot, straight at Krull. Good football, Saints, 1-1. Good game, this. End-to-end stuff, both teams having a right go at each other. Both teams looking to get forward to create round that 18-yard box. Norwich come and press a bit. Pookie to Salisu, that's a good ball from Salisu. Elianusi found a nice little pocket of space and he found him. He's got Walker-Peters again to his left. Drives towards the byline this time. Good cross left-footed from Walker-Peters. Campwell nudges Ibrahim Diallo over. That and looked like a push in the back to me. Yeah, I might have a look on Diallo. There's a chance, you know, that Cantwell actually did knock him over with his back as he came into him, Dave. Well, he's he barged into him, He barged him, him and then took his arm away. Volley clearance from Hanley, so Saints will get the ball back in their own half. Cantwell, remember, he's been uh, was ostracised by Daniel Farker. Chases down Alex McCarthy, who does put pressure on the clearance. But then the long ball over the top, we find Shea Adams. And Armstrong's made a run inside him, but he can't get it to him quick enough. 25 yards out, good ball square to Elianusi. And he was challenged as he played, that made the shot. And he slowly looked like a corner to me. I thought that came off Matthias Norman. But uh, the referee says it's a goal kick. And it was definitely a corner. In fact, off the retreating Kenny McLean. Saints have it down the right, in front of those fans almost. Another short pass, in the end, made them action. And now Armstrong can line the shot up. That deflects, that's a corner. At least Martin Atkinson spotted that obvious one. And it might have been 2-1 to Saints had it not got the deflection. Dark grey afternoon in Norwich, but a bright game, 1-1. Saints using the full-backs really yeah. well. And Walker-Peters getting forward again. He's dragging back Gilmore with him. Then he plays it infield to Ward Prowse. Midway inside the Norwich half. Spreads a big diagonal out to Liberamento. Great ball to the full-back again. He hits it across the six-yard area. And Elianusi didn't get there in time at the back post. And it goes all the way across and out. And Norwich will have a goal kick. And Walker-Peters is going across the pitch, but he's done very well in the end. And finds Liberamento. And Saints come pouring forward. Elianusi working hard there. Went into that dangerous 50-50 as well. Armstrong drops off the front once more, 30 yards from goal, squares it to Elianusi, inside left. Below us is Walker-Peters, gets the return ball to Elianusi this time, hangs it towards the back post, Liberamento heads it across the six-yard area, Norwich still haven't cleared it, Saints have it with Diallo on the edge of the box, he volleys it into the penalty area, headed half away, Liberamento, can he pick out a red shirt? No! Another poor cross, Saints dominating, Romeo wins it back against Cantwell. Ward Prowse has it. Need a Ward Prowse free kick or something here, Dave. Now Salisu will hit it from distance, straight at Krull. Nice connection from Ahmed Salisu. But from 35 yards, Krull was going to catch that. 
Norwich oh. players just not tight enough, Adam. No, and then the cross comes in from Ward Prowse. It was cleared away off the head of Hanley. Too easy, really. It wasn't a great cross in the end. Ibrahim Diallo trying to get it back off Todd Cantwell, who manages to stay on his feet, but then he's tackled. And Saints win it back. Diallo squares it to Elianusi. Surely a chance. Great block. Credit to Grant Hanley. Dives in front of that. That could have been 2-1. Ward Prowse, though, he wants to have a go, and he's hit that, it wasn't that far wide either. Krull didn't worry about it, but it was not far wide from fully 35 yards out. Well, Goal Norwich one, one. Norwich getting a lesson at the moment in uh, how Southampton are moving the ball around from left to right, crisp passing, the movement's good on and off the ball. But Saints have got to capitalise on that. You're right, they've got to get that second goal. They've dominated it. Yeah, if they don't win this game, they'll be kicking themselves after oh. the way they've dominated this. Now, I mean, the three points is there for them. Now, they're giving it away, Norwich. There's a slip by Hanley. Diallo feeds Adams. Adams into the box, onto his right foot. Great save, Tim Krull. Oh. The Shea Adams did brilliantly. Thought he was going to go to his left. Tried to beat him at the near post, and Krull's reactions were excellent. That should have been 2-1, possibly. Did everything right. Yeah, he's cut inside. Krull thought he was going to go round to his left. He's hooked it back, bent it round to the near post, and he's made a great save. Southampton. See, the thing, the thing uh, Norwich allowed Southampton in the first half was the man on the ball had so much time. Yeah, yeah. this time they have closed them up. Diallo's caught in possession, and Norwich will try and break forward. Here's Rashika, wants it on his right foot, and he went to square, and it just caught the toe of Ward Prowse and delayed the move, but still Norwich are coming forward. Norman, clever ball, turn and shot left footed, save straight at McCarthy, and it was Rashika again, who's been a handful of Kosovan from the edge of the box, but thankfully for Southampton, he hit it straight at McCarthy. That's only their second shot on target, Dave. But it's run kindly for Norwich midway inside the Saints' half. Rashika bundled off it almost by Romeo. Still Norwich keep it somehow. Sergeant to Williams. Williams back inside to Rashika. 30 yards from goal. Turns it centrally to McLean. Norman has it. Pierce for the long distance shot. It's two or three yards wide. Great height. Just under the good effort. Height. Yeah. Norwich trying to play out from the back themselves here and that's a poor ball from them and then Salisu's chest down, he's uncertain, he loses the ball and he's put his team in trouble and Lianco sold himself and Puki's bearing down on the penalty area into the box on the edge on the right hand side support inside him, trying to get the cross in and McCarthy makes the save and his near post as Puki tries to lash it inside that near post and score in that area for the second time corner Norwich, good save Alex McCarthy good play of that from Norwich coming down the right hand side nothing going for Puki held on to it took it to his right went for that near post good save from McCarthy but Norwich have it back inside the Southampton half chipped down the left wing for Rashika to chase again he does so willingly near the corner flag gets in he crossing easily against Livramento who didn't get anywhere near him and it's a corner to Norwich as Vidner came across to put it behind corner comes in this one hung to the back post, head down, and inside the net, and it's Grant Hanley who scored the goal, and Saints are losing to Norwich, and Caro Road explodes. Corner hung to the back post, and Hanley back from injury, does the job, won the battle of the headers, and nodded it down, and McCarthy again being oh, at his near that's post. That's poor, that looks poor goalkeeping to me. Yeah. McCarthy certainly at fault and maybe for the first goal he's headed it down Hanley and McCarthy's let it bounce oh. over his hands oh he's tackled but it falls kindly for Walker Peters wants to get a shot away Sergeant won't let him short but 1-2 but they're back with uh, Lianco Bednarek not actually penetrating Norwich at all till Ward Pras puts the cross in at the back post and Saints should have equalised it was a free header eight yards out and Theo Walcott has put it wide. Well, oh, that, was a, that was a great ball in. It was a great opportunity as well. Referee puts the whistle to his mouth. And Caro Road has its first home win since February 2020 in the Premier League.